welcome to Horrorverse. My name is Cody Hawk, and today we're going to be talking about the 2019 psychological horror um, Sleep Doctor, the technical sequel to uh, Stephen King's novel The Shining. Um, now, with this movie, I honestly didn't know if I was going to go see it because I wasn't really too excited about it. I love Stephen King, I love The Shining, one of the best horror movies ever, in my opinion which is kind of why I didn't want to see this movie because um, I love The Shining book, I love the movie and then when Doctor Sleep, the book came out, I attempted to read it and didn't get about a few chapters in, I just really couldn't get into it. So with this one I really wasn't too excited about it, I hadn't even planned on going to it, which is why we just now saw it, we just came back from theaters and saw it. Um, so I mean my expectations were low, but at the same time I was expecting a lot because it's a sequel to The Shining. Um, so it was kind of that mixed area and I gotta say I actually really enjoyed this movie um, Ian McGregor did great as Danny Torrance um, and like I said I didn't get far into the book so I didn't know what the book did as far as connecting this to the original like if it you know in the books you know talk about flashbacks and stuff like that from the original book um, and I don't know if the book did that or not but the movie did um, there were quite a few flashbacks from the original movie and it was very interesting like because it I first thought if they were gonna do that they would just do scenes from the movie and put in this one maybe upgrade the quality um, but no they just completely redid some scenes with new actors and uh, it wasn't that bad like um because you see some scenes of um Danny and his mom, and then you see the scene of him, of uh, Jack breaking through the door with the axe. A few other scenes, and it was just different actors. And I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, it looked pretty on point. I mean, obviously you could tell that it wasn't Jack Nicholson and the other actors, but, I mean, it looked fine, honestly. Um, I don't have too many complaints about this movie, honestly. I do feel like the middle dragged on quite a bit. Um, because it was a long movie, it was like two and a half hours or something like that. And the middle was kind of boring. There was a couple exciting scenes in the middle, but for the most part it was really slow. Um, and then the ending I kind of expected, but it wasn't like I was upset when it happened. Like I kind of figured that was kind of how it was going to be. But I was fine with it. It wasn't like an upsetting ending. I mean, it was, but at the same time it wasn't like I was okay with it. It made sense. Um, and I don't know any of the other actors in this movie's names besides Ian McGregor, who did great. Um, but everyone did great. The, um, the little girl, well, I think her name was Abra, Abra, I think. Um, it's the girl, and I, I think it showed her in the trailer, I'm not sure. Um, but him and her have a connection because they're both, they both shine. So the, the movie's more or less about them too. And these people, I don't know if it ever says what they're called. I know the main villain, her name's Rose, um, but I don't know, she has a whole group of people that's like her. And I don't know if it says what they have a special name, like how Danny and them have Shine, or um, if they also have it, they just kind of, it's kind of like some Star Wars shit where you get the dark and the light set, I don't know. Um, the book might explain more of that, like I said, I didn't read it. Um, but overall, I think the movie did really, it was a really good movie. I'm glad I went to go see it. I mean, after watching it on DVD, whenever it comes out, I would have probably been disappointed if I didn't go to theaters and see it. Um, but like I said, it was a little long, but I mean, the book's a decent sized book. I don't think I have the book over here. I do not, okay, I can't remember if I bought it or not. Um, but it's a big book, I mean, it's probably close to the same size as The Shining. Um, so I mean, it makes sense for the movie to be a little longer. Um, but I mean, really, that's all there is to say about it. I mean, I wouldn't say it's your traditional horror movie. Um, I would say it's kind of like The Shining. Now, before you guys take that out of context, it's nowhere near as good as The Shining. The Shining is a phenomenal movie. People are still talking about it today, trying to figure out what it all meant. Um, but um, this movie's not going to be like that. I mean, it was very down to the point of what was going on. And that was kind of the reason I didn't care about the want to read the book or watch the movie because 
the original book and movie, whatever. I know there's quite a big differences in those two. Um, the endings were kind of left to your own imagination. You got to decide, basically, what all of that meant. They didn't give you a flushed out ending. So I was kind of worried about getting a sequel, because then you kind of get some of it. But you still, you kind of do, but you kind of don't. I don't know, you can take that how you want. Um, but this movie was not like that. You completely get the, what, what everything's talking about. They can explain what the Outlook Hotel was, or Overlook Hotel was. Um, so, and then that was another thing. You got to see the hotel, which was cool. I'm assuming it's not the same hotel they used, because I know in the movie they used multiple hotels. Like, they used one for the inside, one for the outside, but I'm assuming this isn't either one of those. It might be, but I'm not sure. Um, so it was cool seeing that. You saw the maze again, which was cool. Um, uh, but whoa, well, I was at a point there. I don't remember what it was. It's an interesting movie, whereas like The Shining, um, it's not your traditional horror movie. It's not, or especially nowadays. Um, it's not like jump scare after jump scare after jump there. There was very few jump scares in this movie. Um, it was more a psychological thriller. Um, and I mean, like the th when we went to go see it, there wasn't many people in there with us. Um, because the movie's been out for like two weeks now. Uh, there was only one scene where someone screamed in the movie theater, and that was when a light randomly just turns on out of nowhere unexpectedly. It's kind of like a jump scare. Um, but besides that, I mean, it's nothing like what you expect nowadays, and I really appreciate it for that. Um, so I would definitely recommend go seeing it. It's, if you like The Shining, the movie, the book, whichever, um, just don't try to compare it too much to that, or you're going to complain about it. Because, um, I mean, it is a sequel, but it's a completely different concept as far as the type of movie it is. So don't compare it to The Shining. Um, just go in there and, I mean, enjoy the movie. It's a really good horror movie. Um, so I would recommend going to see it in theaters. You probably, by this point, this video's up. There's not, probably not many theaters playing it. So when it comes out on VOD, go check it out, or out on DVD. Um, but overall, I think it's, I'm going to give it probably, like, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Um, so I mean, it's not crazy high up there, but I enjoyed it. It was a fun movie to watch. Like I said, the only main complaint I had was the middle was really slow. Um, and some people might like that, some people might not. But that's going to be the end of the review. I'm sorry, I haven't re reviewed anything in a while. I posted the other day, I have a lot of stuff going on right now. But I wanted to get this out as soon as I watched it, so I could know that I got the video on. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next review.